One of the first questions that people have when they hear about lens replacement and the possibility that it might be a better idea for them is, why isn't LASIK the better idea? And that makes sense that that would be the first question because LASIK is much more famous, even when it's not the better option. So the specifics of why lens replacement might work a little bit better for one person than another have to do with three specific things. The first is the prescription. by which I mean the glasses. The second is permanence. And the last one is age. So those three things, they all kind of interplay with each other, but they, they all have their own specific nuance to them. For the prescription that somebody has, what I mean by that is, it's not a specific checklist of this person is, you know, age 52 or 57, or this person uh, does this specific hobby or task. One of the things that really matters is the specifics of what prescription you have in your eyes when you're walking in. People who are nearsighted uh, have a different result from different procedures than people who are farsighted. And people that have astigmatism sometimes are better candidates for other procedures than people that don't have astigmatism. And so the prescription that somebody has directly influences whether or not lens replacement would be the best option. There are some times where uh, lens replacement would be a better long-term option even though we know they might really, really like LASIK in the short term. And so we kind of have to open the window to the future a little bit and say, you can do this uh, now, but it won't be the best long-term option if we're talking about LASIK. And so what we recommend is just either don't do anything uh, and then wait and get lens replacement down the road or get lens replacement now. And that's because there are just some prescriptions at some ages that are going to do better with lens replacement than they will with LASIK. The second one of these is permanence. One of the advantages that we have with ophthalmology is that we don't have to do a bunch of fancy imaging tests uh, where we're injecting dyes and trying to look at the blood vessels inside the heart and doing CT angiograms and all this stuff that requires really invasive stuff in order to get a look inside the body. With your eye, we can actually just look directly through your pupil. And that's because you need your eye to look directly out of your pupil. So we just kind of look back at you. And when we're doing that, we can look at all the anatomy inside and we can see when things are starting to get worse. Now, because the lens changes so slowly over such an incredibly long period of time, sometimes it takes an outside ophthalmologist or optometrist to look in and say, this lens, it's getting closer and closer to its expiration date. Uh, and it's, it's not something that you can really pick up on from being the person looking out of your eye. But we know that if we do LASIK, there's just not going to be enough permanence there to be really happy with it. It's going to feel like you rented vision for a couple of years and then you had to come back and get some sort of upgrade to help your vision out further. So if we can tell ahead of time that LASIK is going to have a shorter duration uh, and not be something that's going to last longer. Uh, in most people, we say about 10 years is our lowest amount that we want to get out of LASIK then we'll say lens replacement will be a permanent option instead because lens replacement lasts for the rest of your life as long as the rest of your eye stays healthy. And then lastly, and oddly enough, least importantly, is age. People age at all different rates. And not only that, different parts of the same body will age at different speeds for the same person. And so one of the things that we look at is not the age that's written on the birth date uh, when you come into clinic, but we look at the age of the lens inside the eye. There are patients that I've seen, uh, my dad specifically is one of them. Uh, in his 70s, his lens looks literally 20 years younger than he is. Um, and then you've got uh, other cases where somebody will have a really, really early change to their lens. Uh, some of the younger patients that have required lens replacement were in their 30s just because they had, in some cases, genetic or traumatic reasons to have a lens that was uh, very prematurely aged, and so we needed to replace it. So with this one, we're talking about the age of the lens. There is a correlation in general to the age of the person. Uh, it's definitely more common that lens replacement is a better option if you are 75 than if you are 35 but we really do look specifically at the age. And so when it comes to the prescription you've got in your glasses, the permanence that we're looking for from the procedure, or the age of your lens specifically, 
It helps us to determine whether lens replacement is a better option than LASIK. And there are definitely answers to these questions that make lens replacement a much better option.